Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. The uh, next competitions will have some screens being displayed in the hall. And then when you go, you can enter your name and then the system itself will bring out your position, whom you are playing, the time you are okay. playing. You see, when you come to the hall, you don't know what time you are even playing your game. And knowing the time you playing your game matters a lot. Because you'll be in the hall and you know in the next 30 minutes I'm playing my game. Sometimes you need to relax and then uh, focus on what kind of uh, techniques or strategy you are going to use to win your match. At times you don't know, you'll be in the hall even though there is a competition expecting your name to be called and then about an hour to two hours you still don't hear your name. Some, if you don't take time, you even sleep and then uh, <laughs> somebody will call you that, hey, your friend will win a And it, it affects you? It, it affects you because psychologically you, you weren't ready for the game at that very moment. Mm. Your mind was elsewhere. Wow. So, anything for I'm Derek? just wondering if you guys also have challenges because there's football, we've talked about football. Like, I didn't even know table tennis was a mm. thing. Yeah, it, it, like is. That. So, it is. Are there like some challenges right yes, now? Yes, we have challenges and then and well, currently there. Good, good. No, we are not. Call them less <laughs> there, there are a lot of. Uh, you won't oh, even you don't listen need so to the less finance sports. One what of our challenges <laughs> are. Oh. Uh, finance is sponsors. Yeah, there, you know, when you go to corporate organization and you ask them for help or support, right. yeah, they don't see the need for them to sponsor because some of them feel when they sponsor you, they don't gain anything in return. Unlike football, when you sponsor a competition yeah. and then people are coming to the sports stadium, they pay tickets. Uh, to get it. So at the end of the day, there is some kind of money you can get aside the publicity. Yeah. Aspect. yeah. So, but the GOC, the current administration, the GOC, especially President Mr. Ben Nunu, and then uh, the sports ministry uh, is doing very well. And we are seeing some changes and a lot of things being put in place for we, the sports athletes, sure. who are preparing for next year's. Commonwealth Games in uh, Gold Coast, Australia. So, with what they've done so far, I think uh, we are seeing some future in Ghana sports. And I tell you, I'm sure next year going, uh, there will be a, a great change in uh, less finance sports, as people term it. <laughs> Even though that name is there, but I'm sure next year with uh, what the minister and the, and, and the GOC is doing, uh, I'm sure. Next year going, we will not be it's less finance for we'll us. Do, <laughs> do, you, do you make money? You know, we know as much and the rest is do. I mean, we all know what it comes with as football is so, so, yes, yeah, with yeah. tennis, is it the same thing? Yes, it's the same thing, but you see, all things are not uh, yeah. the yeah. equal. There are side that players are playing and are being paid thousand euros, two thousand euros, three thousand euros a month. A month per game. No, a month. Okay. And then there are wins, not like football, but I must say it's 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 quite okay for a sports athlete who finds himself. So there. A, a, a table tennis player can be a millionaire, like can't own a private jet, can't live the life. When you it go doesn't to other countries you. like Nigeria yeah. and Egypt, they are top four. Players or their national players are having uh, land cruises and then okay. four by four, and then oh. some are getting Anybody contracts of thirty-five thousand really dollars to push them up. But in Ghana here, over the years, uh, there has been some okay. um, low attention for the sports, so people don't get yeah. the necessary encouragement to put in more effort. Uh, the association has to one way or the other. Uh, push you to international competitions right. and you know how our system is you end up going for international competition and then uh, you come back and then uh, you are being given something like 500 cd you know athletes uh, people wow. talk a lot even in the first place for the association to tell you okay we can get you to the competition ground to participate mm -hmm. uh, but there wouldn't be maybe uh, enough per diem for you because there wasn't much fund and for this competition and when you go to nigeria sometimes they they do accept it because when you get to the competition ground you end up getting a good world ranking which will enable you secure a club 
right. but in some parts of over the years uh, what i realized was when people travel outside for instance ghana and they are not begin they are not giving per diem they they end up coming back and saying yama is ka yama is ka but sometimes what i would say is uh, if we compare ghana to nigeria sometimes they do go on individual championships without per diem all the players need is to get to the playing grounds and then participate to gain more exposure for themselves so right now things are being done and and i'm sure uh, after the commonwealth games and then some series of international competitions we are going to have uh, more uh, Ghanaian table tennis players on board uh, having their names in the international uh, ranking yeah because as i speak to you now we have just about four or five uh, players who have in the international ranking and so those players can secure a club anytime uh, they want. Interesting. Uh, we saw you uh, on air. I don't know where country it was and what you were doing. It was uh, Chinese Taipei. Mm. Yeah, we went there for World University Games, and so, okay, so that was that's the video there. Who are you playing with? This one is a former African champion, Sakasuraju. That is the uh, All African Games 2015, when we beat them to win bronze from Ghana. Wow. Yeah. So when you when you when you go into such competitions, how is the orientation like um, before you get there, and even when you get back to Ghana? Well, when you get there, you know everything is different from what you are doing in your country. Uh, so what I would say is, if we are to go on time, I think players can adjust to the uh, whatever situation or condition it in the sports premises, and then. They be able to put up something nice. You, I mean, the, when you go for such uh, competitions, also Derek, as you'll be going for the Commonwealth Games next year in Gold Coast, Australia, do you think? Uh, would you say that you actually maybe your bats, the rubbers, and I mean, who is supporting you in such things? I must say, Dream Mobile, yeah, and then the GTTA is also. Uh, putting things in place for us, which we are aware of it. And then uh, when we go for competitions, normally we encounter one or two problems, uh, our equipment and styles. But this year, and then since we got uh, Mr. Mauko Afajanu, those kind of petty issues have been solved. So all we need to do is just uh, train very hard and then make sure we go and then we win some medal. Our medical aspect too is somehow very important because sometimes uh, national athletes don't go on medical checkups before going to international competitions and you get to the grounds and you get a tough match, you play and then after that tough match you realize that the next day you wake up you are so weak that you don't think you can even go and win the next match. Okay Derek, hold your thought there. Let me speak with Alassan. Good morning Alassan. Good morning. Yes, thanks um, for joining us. Thank you very much for that program. Mm -hmm. I would like to also add up some okay. few things to Derek. Derek is my classmate. Um, I say hi to him. Derek, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine, Alassan. This is Malik uh, Akrap, your classmate. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a while. I wish you all the best. May Allah continue to protect and guide you. You'll be uh, one of the best players in the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's my contribution. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for uh, contributing to Bless Derek anyway. Uh, we don't really often do these things in this country. We focus more on football. We complain about how football is not doing well, but this is a national asset. They've been hauling in several laurels for the country, so let's see how we celebrate them. Derek, my other question too is this. Uh, we've seen you go for competitions. You've been on several training tours, like the one in China. Um, how beneficial are those ones to you as a player and to the whole team? Well, I must say, any time I embark on a training tour or an international team, I return to the country with uh, another uh, experience altogether. So when we come back to the country, we gather the young ones and those who couldn't go, we train with them and then we share what we learn uh, with them. Mm. So when a player gets the opportunity to go outside, when he returns, 
the rest who couldn't go also gets to learn whatever he went to acquire over there. Okay. I think we posted a comment on Facebook. Uh, Caroline has them. It has to do with the yeah. GOC. So uh, we asked the Ghana Olympic Committee GOC has secured a £5,000 preparation grant for seven Ghanaian athletes ahead of the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, Australia. Is this enough to get Ghana medals at the competition? And this is where a lot of you had to say, Noel said, no, I don't think so. Jason, Mama Cara, love your hair style today. You're fresh. And yes, it's enough. Caroline, you're looking like an angel. I'm an angel. <laughs> they should add Kwesiapia's payment fee. That will be enough. <laughs> yeah, right. That's from Jagan. And uh, Colin says, Caroline, where have you been? See how cute you look watching you from Kumasi. Okay, thank you. And uh, Brian, good morning, Caroline. You're looking beautiful hey, thank you comment on goc <laughs> wow well about the tennis <laughs> issue i think it's time we you know don't solely depend on the government we are all part of the government there are companies who will be interested in sponsoring different sports formal letters can be written to these companies asking for sponsorship and will gladly help that's what you were talking about earlier they yeah. are not interested mm -hmm. for you to have get... you tried okay have you sent in letters for sports like table tennis mm -hmm bad meeting athletics yeah you know because they don't get much or they get sometimes media publicity right. so when you go unless you get somebody who is so much interested in the kind of sports you are talking about mm -hmm. if you don't it's very difficult for you to uh, get that sponsorship but since your president uh, Malpa Fajimi I think we've seen the likes of Standard Bank and mm. Eco Bank, Eco Bank and a few Sky companies Line. coming on board. Yeah. yeah, that is what I'm saying. It depends on your administration. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Mauku Afajanu has been doing well so far, and I must commend him for the good works. There has been some transparency ever since he came to table tennis. I think more can be done. Yes, for me, when, I, when, you, when you get the opportunity to interact with him and you talk to him, all he keeps telling you, uh, all, all, what he will tell you is he's yet to start. Wow. Uh, yeah. mm. and so far, when you look at even Africa, I would say it is only Ghana that we are having an active Ghana and, uh, National League mm. going on. And then we do have uh, live coverages. Uh, of our matches every weekend by GTV Sports Plus. Wow. Yeah, and then, uh, so we, I think he's doing well, he's doing it's very, very well. Yeah, uh, table tennis is moving far. And when you talk Great. of table tennis in Africa, I think Ghana is one of the first four countries, wow. yeah, that will be mentioned. Okay. Wow. Anyway, our last caller before we leave. Uh, good morning, Romeo. Uh, good morning. How good morning. are you? Yeah, I'm great. Talk to us. Okay. You came to my number one, Derek. Mm. So, okay. Says hi uh, to I you. Want to, I want to contribute on the introduction of the IT in the sport. But with, with that, it will help very well because some of the players are not in a car. And sometimes the education to a competition is a problem. Mm. So it will help so that. When you're after that car, you can register and you know which story you are playing that day. And the time for you to start yourself and come and play the game is very nice. So we hope that they will introduce it. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, and Thank you very much, Derek, for honoring our invitation. We hope to have you here more often uh, to talk about table tennis. And all the best. If you receive the grant, that money that GOC is saying, please let us know. We want to find out if really it's been released and you've gotten it. I will let to you ensure know. that this let you know. thing. And remember, it's seven athletes, uh, which he is also a beneficiary of that. And the Ghana Olympic Committee has been able to secure mm. that 5000 uh, Pounds grant, uh, quite a lot. It's enough, huh? Not enough. <laughs> That's like twenty-five thousand. Uh, okay. Seems. All right. You people. <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining us here uh, tomorrow. Chef Senna is going to be here with us uh, to cook something which will be run you by on our social media platform. So join us tomorrow. And thanks for allowing us into your various offices and homes as well. Make a day with us.